Hey guys, it's Rod here from TrueKit. As a major inflatable boat company, we get asked a lot about inflatable boat valves. So today we're just going to try and bring you up to speed with what they are, how they work, and how to replace one. So this is one of the inflatable boat valves that we use. It's called a Bravo valve, which is the one that we like. We think it's the best on the market, but there's several others that are all operate in a similar type way. Now, inflatable boat valve has several components. The main one you can see is the top part, which consists of a dust cap, which is screwed in to keep the dust out, the main valve body, and then the bit that you never see, which because it's on the inside of the tube, which we call the basket. So the top part actually screws into the basket and clamps around the fabric to create an airtight seal. The valve itself, in our case, is a push button. So you push the button twice, and it opens and it closes. Opens, closes. So you can see the, the one-way valve, when it's, when it's in a closed position, air cannot come out of the boat, but when the valve is open, air could come in or out of the boat. So how do you put air into your boat? Well, firstly, you grab your hand pump, or your electric pump, which will have a bayonet end on the end on the hose. Now, each valve and bayonet end are unique and they have to fit together, so it just depends on which valve you have. But that just goes in there, then it locks, it's got an o-ring there to create the seal. Now you always do this in the closed position, so the valve's in the closed position when you want to inflate your boat. And you'll see, when I push the bayonet fitting in, the valve opens. That allows the air to be pushed through as you're pumping it up. And then when you remove, once you're up to pressure, say three PSI for the tubes, then you take the bayonet fitting out and it naturally closes the valve so you don't lose all that air that you've spent putting in there. So what issues can you have with a, with a valve? Well, the obvious one is sand, fluff, all sorts of stuff from the water and from the beach can end up in here. And so that's a good reason for, for when you're out on the water or on the beach, you keep the cap on and that keeps all the junk out of the valve. The other thing that can happen over time is the valve can slowly come loose. Now these aren't glued into place uh, and when the reason that uh, they're not glued into place is so that you can replace them if you have an issue. Um, but what can happen is it can come loose over time so it's easy to fix that. To tighten a valve, you just grab your valve spanner from your repair kit. Now all boats that are sold should come with a valve spanner. You just insert it into the valve like that, and then you just tighten it with a clockwise motion. So that one there, I got about a quarter of a turn, eighth of a turn, and that will create a 100% airtight seal. Now one little tip to watch for is when you're washing your boat, you want your valve to be in the closed position. If it's in the open position, that means the flap is open and water can get inside the boat into the tube. So if it's in the open position and you're washing the boat, the water from the hose can get inside the tube, which you don't want. So always have the valve in the closed position when you're washing. Here's another view you don't see very often. We've cut one of our boats open just so we can do this video so you can see what it's like on the inside. So in, inside here, you can see the basket of the valve and then the top part. The top part's screwed into the bottom part and when that's done up tight, it creates an airtight seal. Right, now I'm going to show you with our, with our demonstration part, part tube how to replace an inflatable boat valve. So get your tool, insert it into the valve anti-clockwise, it'll take about three turns to separate it from the basket. Now here's a tip, if you don't have the boat, uh, the basket sitting flat on the ground, you see what happens there? The basket can end up floating around in the tube, then you're going to have to chase it around and try and relocate it. So there's the hole there. So our tip is to, when you're replacing the valve, do it flat down. So the basket is sitting flat, so it can't run away on you. Then you just get your new top part, 
you see that? Insert it into the basket, clamping around the fabric. The first part of the turns you can do by hand. You'll feel when it gets tight. Grab your valve spanner, tighten it up. Nip it up pretty tight because that is your air that is your air seal. And that's it there. That's fully replaced there now. So that's it guys. Hopefully that answers a few of your questions about inflatable boat valves and how to replace them, tighten them, and uh, any issues you might have. But if you've got any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll try and answer all your questions. We'll see you next time.